Barkabor, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What a joy it is to speak to you again. I don't need to tell this to you. I wish, I, I really do, that I'm able to be with you right now in person and talk to you. But then thank God for this avenue that I can be with you and say a few thoughts. Please know I care about you and I love you and being your metropolitan, my call is to be the shepherd of the Holy Church. And my prayers are with you. And today, as this is so important that we focus on the Holy Scripture. The theme of this Sunday uh, for our Holy Church Divine Liturgy is God is near. The closeness, the nearness of God. You know, some years ago, something that really shocked me, that's in my own personal life, that, <coughs> that when I read that verse in the book of Psalms, it says, and God, the Lord, is thinking about me. And I stopped reading that and I said, what? Born and raised in the smallest village in India by a river bank with five other older brothers and my parents and neighbors and relatives in my tiny village. God is thinking about me, I was skinny, I didn't know anything, I was the least and the last, and God, this God who created the billions and billions of galaxies, the almighty God, he is thinking about me? I couldn't, I couldn't fathom, comprehend, fully grasp the depth of that scripture. Yet, it is true. Today, I am your metropolitan. We are churches scattered throughout the whole world. My journey of these years and decades, I didn't plan any of those things. Our church, Believers Eastern Church, which I believe is the most sacred church, holy church, according to the first, third, second, first, second, third, and fourth centuries. How did it all happen? Amazing is God's, His choice. And He been near us for what? People say, I am with you. What does that mean? When God said to Moses, I will go with you, I am with you. To Joshua, to David, to the apostles. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I am with you till the end of the world, end of the age. When Stephen, St. Stephen in Acts 7 was stoned to death. When Apostle Peter was crucified upside down. When the authentic Orthodox believers of the early centuries will not compromise 
was persecuted. They had to run for their life. When the disciples, after Christ rose again, walk into Emmaus, and a stranger joins them, and they have no clue who he was. When St. Paul was in shipwreck in Acts 27, and St. John, Apostle, the Patmos Island in Revelation, he was there. And by the way, he is near you, he is with you. When you sleep, he's watching over you. When you're afraid, he knows and he's near you and teaching you. Your ship, your family, your life will not capsize and die and finish. No, his arms are holding you up. And you find that in the scripture, especially the passages we read today, Acts 17, and Psalms and First Peter and St. John, these passages tell us so clearly that he made us his own and we are his and he like the hen gathers her little ones, his wings are always over us, protecting us. Never be afraid. Fear, only fear. Trust our Lord. And we are his. And you are safe. May the Lord bless you and watch over you and give you strength. Amen.